Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing a Laravel 9 e-commerce series. So now guys, in this video, we are going to learn how to show the dashboard details. Okay, so the dashboard details means like the total number of products, the total number of categories, brands, colors, users, your order, last month orders we are going to display. Okay, so now guys, let's get started. So first, let's move to our URL called dashboard on this page. Okay, so let's get back, go to your web.php and here is your dashboard. Let's go to the dashboard controller, control E and search for your dashboard controller.php file and here's your admin.dashboard. That means you're going to the blade. Let's move there and we are here. So now guys, I don't need many of the things from here. Let's just control X this one and remove everything. So in the column MD12, we are going to paste this. And now let me just zoom it guys. Done. And now let's begin with the row. Then the column MD3. And then a simple card. And inside this card only, I'm going to add card body where let's give a background primary and then the text white text white and margin bottom three all set and now guys inside this we are going to show the label like total orders okay we are going to remove this and create one h1 tag with some number then give a a tag for linking to your orders a tag which will go to your view so add a class here text white then the url you are going to link to your orders okay which is admin forward slash orders as simple guys and now let's save and we need to check the output now you can come here refresh Perfect, so everything is working fine guys. And let us just give a gap over here or you can create a horizontal row. Let me add this horizontal row in the div. Now if you refresh, perfect. So now guys, let me get all the details, get back. And first let's go to our dashboard controller guys, add this index function let us type all the total values of each model okay so first step we are going to begin with the products dollar total products equal to your product colon colon count function and then again let me check for the category model count function and total categories okay categories and now let us copy and paste again and let's tell total brands and this is going to be a brand model so all this model we have in our models folder so inside my models table app models you'll find that brand category and product okay and now guys let's get all the users so let us tell total all users equal to your user model colon colon count function so you will count all the users and now i want to get only the user and only the admin so for that total user equal to user model colon colon where condition and then user count function okay and here in the where condition we are going to separate them by role as okay so first here you find when it is zero that means it is a user and now copy and paste here when it is one it is a admin so total admin okay total user total admin done guys and same way we are going to get the order things also okay so for the order guys let us type here total order total orders equal to your order model colon colon count function so this is a total order and now let's get 
the today order whatever order we get today that we are going to display okay so let's tell today order equal to your order model colon colon just use a where date function okay so on this date let's uh, let me get semicolon here created at okay when the order is placed on today date let's create a variable called today date okay so let's copy this and let us get the date for today by using carbon colon colon now function and let's format that date guys with the help of format function where you will tell date hyphen month hyphen year all set and you need to import all these classes guys so let me import this carbon first import illuminate support carbon okay so we have imported this class and let me import every classes import class product category then brand and then user which is app model user and now let's import this order model perfect so we got that order and now guys let us continue this order today date of count function and now guys let us copy and paste again and let's tell here this month order i require it okay so let's tell this month order so order where instead of date let's use month month all set and it's going to be the same created at and here you can mention the variable as this month okay and we are going to count that total number so now guys let us just get here and create the variable and get the data so you can use this carbon now itself and just use the month here month this today month okay let's get back and let's tell here this year order so your current year orders this year order okay and here it's going to be where year function okay and then created at at this year okay all set now copy and let us create again a variable this year equals to your carbon now and just get the year which is capital y and now guys you can get back to your return view function and use a compact function here and send all these variables as simple let us copy send here one by one so guys let me just send all the variables here and show you so guys i have pasted all the variables whatever we have displayed here except this date formats okay so ignore this and all the data we have taken so now guys let's create all the boxes as per the requirement okay so first let us begin with the orders let me just copy this and paste four times here one two three and four so first we are going to set this bg primary then success then warning and this is the danger color done guys and now you can get back and let us tell total order today order this month order and year order okay so now you can paste the variables here let's open and close curly brace get the variable name like total order today order this month order and year order let me just paste that done let's copy this paste here and again paste paste so this is for today order let's type that today order and this month order so this month order 
and then this year order okay so let's tell here this year order let's save and let's refresh perfect so you see guys total number of order is seven today orders we don't have any order so it's zero and this month order zero guys let me just check in the orders table so this is our orders table guys and now you can get back at the created at let's move here you see all the order is on the ninth month let me just change this created at to 10 update it and now refresh and you will find that one order is in this month cool so everything set guys let me just reflect back to 9 how it was okay so now guys same way you can get all your variables that is your users and product brand let me just paste and show you those datas okay so now guys let me scroll below and here you see i have pasted for the product category and brands okay done so from here i have created a horizontal row as simple which is shown in the row column and then your total product total ca today category i'm not today category it's total category okay so total category and total brands as simple and now you can just change this urls as per your route here okay so when you add or view products so just add products and category so here we add products here category and then brands done and now let's move below and here we add all the users okay so this is all user total and this is the total user and this is the total admins okay done and now you can change this to users let's copy this paste here paste here all set guys now you can get back and refresh and check the output let's refresh perfect so we get all the data guys so guys we have successfully shown how to display our total data in your dashboard so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share